Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and uh, this is Lumber Tycoon 2. A real quick, huge shout out to. Oh gosh, where did you go? Huge shout out to Panda's Playground, uh, aka Canna Panda, C A N N A P A N D A. Thank you so much for um, inviting me to your private server. I am actually going to use it for tonight because I don't want any lag and I don't want any big bases being loaded in. It tends to cause me lag in, while I'm building and it just kind of disrupts. But once I get this built, I will probably go back to public servers. Um, by the way, hold on. Let's look into a wall. Yeah, there they go. Um, sorry, I, I've been in kind of a livid mood. Um, so for those of you that don't know who, um, Gerald Gerario is, uh, G-E-R-A-L-D, and then last name G-U-E-R-R-E-R-O, a.k.a. G-G, on, uh, YouTube, Roblox, his account got hacked almost a month ago, uh, over a month ago, and he had 14, no, he had 15.2 thousand subscribers. That's a big channel. All right, and don't get me wrong, any anybody with any amount of subs is still important, but his account got hacked and he contacted YouTube and YouTube failed to do anything about his channel for over a month. A month. In that time, the hackers uploaded over 4,000 videos to his channel. They... Uh, we're live streaming yesterday on his channel. They've been live streaming since the second, so nine nine days straight of streaming on somebody else's channel. And I ended up contacting them through uh, through the live chat uh, support myself, and they told me, "Oh, we know that you're concerned about your friend's account. We see that it has been hacked, but he's going to need to have to contact us." So I started talking to Gerald and he's like, yeah, I did contact them and, and I've sent them messages and they keep telling me that they're working on something internally, blah, blah, blah. Dude, a month is too long. So, I'm uh, sorry. I am, I am absolutely floored that YouTube would go and do something like this. And I understand, I'm not the owner of the channel, but I am reaching out for a friend, for somebody who, like, you know it's happening. You send them a link to the channel, and they can see that it's live, and it's not the person that normally streams. And yet they still don't do anything about it. I am, I am, oh. Which is one reason I came in here to a private server to come and record. Because I am so mad right now. I shouldn't be. Because, like, I mean, it is it is Gerald's channel and it's his. And you know what? He's got another channel that he had to, he had to start up and start doing streams on. Because YouTube wasn't doing anything about his current channel. And... It's just really sad. It it just one more thing that YouTube has completely overlooked. The security that took place to to get into his channel to take it over. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. How in the world do you let something like that slip through? Um who was it? Boogie2998. Um big YouTuber I used to follow, and I, I still subscribe to him, I just I haven't watched his content in quite some time. He had his account hacked while he was out at one of the VidCons, and it took his channel less than 24 hours to get back into his hands, everything else. And you know why? Because he was a big influencer. And it's... <sighs> okay. <clears throat> So I'm going to start talking about something else now. Uh, it is snowing and sleeting and cold outside. If you guys are having that wintry mix uh, happening right now, comment down below into the, the comments. Don't tell me your location. Just like say, yeah, it's snowing here too. Or something, something along those lines. 
and it is cold. You might be able to hear it in the background. I got my heaters going. Whoa. Almost jumped off the end there. I've got uh, both of my heaters going. Uh, one of them's like way over there, but the other one's like right underneath my feet. And my hands are still just... Woo! It's cold. <clears throat> By the way, it, it is November. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to December yet. Ugh, it's cold. It's cold, cold, cold. Okay, that that should be good. Um, I, if you can't tell, I've been working on my uh, my bridge um, during lunch times while I'm still at work. So if you see me playing Roblox, I'm on lunch break. Okay, it just no 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 don't stop! <laughs> I fell down again. <sighs> Gonna be another 20 minutes before I get up to the top. <laughs> uh, I do so much to try and stay like on there and, and not fall down, and it takes it takes a lot of skill to keep that balance up there. Mm. Anyhow, I've tried to get a hold of um, a couple of other big YouTube names to try and bring awareness to the situation that happened with Gerald because. It is unacceptable the amount of time that it's taken them to respond or to do anything about his channel, especially forcing the man to watch his own channel get streamed on by somebody else. Like he was sitting in the chat talking to all of his fans saying, this is not me, this is not my channel. That alone, YouTube should get sued. Honestly, and I know I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I need to be, support YouTube. No, YouTube has done so many things wrong to the content creators over the last two years. It's, it's, I'm, I've actually considered leaving the platform multiple times and going to something else, becoming a Twitch streamer, becoming uh, a mixer. I mean, there are so many other things. Um, the reason I don't is because YouTube's the biggest. YouTube is the conglomerate. They are the massive corporation that has the most people on it. And that's the truth. It's probably the only reason I'm sticking around. I'm also afraid that if I were to leave and go to somewhere else, I would not be as big or relevant. Not that that matters, because it's never mattered in the past. It's just, I've kind of built something here, and I don't want to give that up. And I don't want to see YouTube fall. Honestly, I, I don't want to see YouTube fall. YouTube was ran by Google, and I support Google. <sighs> or at least I did. Back whenever it was still owned by the original two owners, uh, and YouTube... Um, I was so happy when Google bought YouTube. I mean, that was the smartest move that they had ever done, you know? But then Google actually got sold to a company, and it feels like it's just gone downhill from there. Of course, that's, that's been years back, you know? Not relative today, but it's still sad. And for a lot of you, you're probably reeling right now going, what is he talking about? This is not Roblox. Um, it's just something that I'm passionate about, and it's something that's relative to my channel, and you know, what if my channel were to get hacked? Please don't hack me, okay? If you're watching this right now and you're like, oh, I hate code, I don't like the way that he talks to people, I think he's too strict, What? whatever your case is, don't hack me, please. I don't want to be hacked. I don't want to have to try and go through YouTube support chat because I really don't want to have to sit there for over 30 minutes just to talk to somebody to tell me, oh, you need to send an email or send a link to me or something like that. It is a big pain. It is a hassle. It is time. And it's something I, I don't think anybody should have to go through. <sighs> Anyhow, it's, it's something very relative to me. Like, what if my channel gets compromised, you know? And there's there's so many things that are just tied together nowadays. I'm worried I would never recover from it. Ah, 
I would probably move on and go find something else to do. You know, I would send out like one last massive message to everyone, telling them thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, but this is this has got me down for the last time, or something like that. You know, something to the fans. Let them know that they're still loved. And I do. I love you guys. Thank you for being here, and thank you for being part of part of this, part of the content creation, part of the channel. It means a lot to me. And now I know that there's some some of you that are sitting there right now, like, but he never talks to me. I'm not that important. You are. I want I want you to know the person that's thinking that inside their brain right now. You are one of the most important parts of this channel. You are the reason that I'm actually here doing this. And it's because of you that I continue to do this. I wouldn't want any new subscribers without you being here in the first place. I think I'm getting this. I'm, I'm getting the hang of this, this bridge down, aren't I? I'm going to need more doors. Um, Boo-wee. Man. Hmm. I wonder how far down I am. I would go test right now, but... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What is this? Is this birch? That is birch wood, sir. I need to get that out of here. Before you get confused with palm wood. <laughs> there we go. And just so you guys know, uh, I am not a kid channel, okay? I am a family-friendly channel, which means that every member of your family can enjoy it and and not have to worry about anything. I'm not going to push my Christian views onto you. Of course, I'm also not going to push my world views and my knowledge of other religions onto you either. Because I am. I am very knowledgeable about multiple things. And whatever your belief system is, I will not try to influence it. I think one of the most interesting ones is Pastafarian. What was that? What is that? Oh, dude, there was a shadow moving across the ground. Go back just a few seconds. There was a shadow like across the ground. I couldn't tell what it was. It was a reflection or it was a shadow of the moon passing over the top of my uh, platform up there. All the doors. It was the shadow from that. That was crazy. That was awesome. Okay. Sorry. Distraction. Uh, Pastafarian. Let's <sighs> put it this way. I don't want to offend anybody and be like, it's not a real religion, but it is, uh, it feels like it's been made to, um, to fight the battle of religions and, uh, fight the battle of science, evolution, taught in schools, scientific processes. Sorry, I won't. Uh, I won't go into details. I I just said I wouldn't. Um, but let's go here. There we go. Um, hopefully. Uh, oh, the the school already called. My kids are out of school for tomorrow, so my wife's like, "Yay, I get to sleep in with the kiddos tomorrow." I'm like, "That's good. You're gonna have to deal with them for the rest of the day." <laughs> And by the time I get home, she's going to be like, oh, the kids have been driving me crazy all day long. Mom this, mom that, I'm hungry. I peed in the floor. <laughs> or whatever, whatever the case may be. You know. And not saying that that's, like, not important. But it feels like a mountain. 
I, like, it's it's the biggest problem in the world whenever I get home, that something happened here in the house today. Okay. We'll take care of it, we'll deal with it, and we'll carry on. And then we're gonna go have some dinner, and we'll have a good time. And we get to play and hang out with each other. And that's the best feeling. Just getting to hang out with family, you know? I... I know I say it a lot that I'm ready for my kiddos to, to grow up and get out of the house and everything else. And to a point, I am. Uh, I think I'm more excited to see what kind of adults they're going to become. Not that I'm, I'm wanting to get them out of the house faster, because I really do enjoy my time with them. I really do like being able to play video games with them, to play games with them, to talk with them... And we talk about all kinds of stuff. I'm very open with my kids as far as questions or concerns that they have in the world. Because something in... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go off on it. Because something that has um, been very prevalent, persistent, consistent, is this idea of... Um, identity like how you identify and it feels like YouTube social media and all these different outlets are pushing the idea of gay and lesbian and homosexuality now I am not saying anything contrary to this, okay? By all means, go ahead. You are still loved. I still love you, no matter what your orientation is, no matter if you're a man who feels like you should be a woman, if you're trans, bi, whatever the case may be. But it is completely different coming from my perspective of looking outward into the world and seeing these things happening because I don't stand out there and scream and shout that I am proud to be a straight white married man because it would be looked down upon. And I want you to know that I'm proud that I am straight. Okay? I, I am. That does not mean that I am homophobic. It does not mean that I hate anyone. But for some reason, if you're part of the LGBT community, and there's, there's many more acronyms and everything else, but if you're not part of that community, it almost feels like you're being outcasted or you're being ousted for not being part of that community. And I don't want anyone to ever feel like that, okay? go be part of it if you are part of it do it and that's great that's wonderful for you but then if you're forcing me to be accepting of your choices then why shouldn't i be forceful about my choices you know and it's just it's something that has bugged me for a little while and i need to get it off my chest that it's okay if you're not part of that community. And it's okay to be proud of who you are, even if you're not part of something. I don't want anybody to ever feel like they're left out or feel wrong for being not part of something. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> and for <laughs> real quick parents, uh, go or yeah. If that was too much for your kiddos, I do apologize, but it is my channel, and I'm also, I'm very open with my kiddos, and I talk to them about this thing, and I feel like I should be able to talk to you guys about it, too, my fans. I should be able to speak to you about stuff that goes on Twitter, because you guys follow me on Twitter, and you know that I, <laughs> I will follow non-family-friendly people just to make them feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Because they know that I'm family friendly. 
Uh, that's not to say I'm an antagonist, but it is. I, I do. Um, I do follow a lot of people that are not so family friendly. I do go and play Fortnite with regular, like everyday, random strangers inside squads. And what happens? This is this is kind of bad because what happens is because I go into squads and because um, other people don't have their group settings set to private they will end up um, my fans will end up joining their lobbies because they see that I'm in a group and they go to join that person's group instead of trying to join me because my mine's all set to private nobody can join me unless I send them an invite or I join them so it's funny when we're sitting there in squads and then all of a sudden code <gasps> code <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> guys, watch your language. <laughs> I got a fan in here. Wait, you have fans? What? And then they, <laughs> yeah. So for anybody that's ever joined me inside one of the squads games and you've realized that they're not talking so family friendly, I will still try to maintain my family friendliness. I have gone off on some people, especially little kids who talk trash. Okay, because I would never want Oliver getting in there and being like, you suck, you're trash, why don't you get off here? Dude, he's trying, everybody on here is trying, even you're trying. And it doesn't matter how good or bad you've done, you don't ever diss somebody like that. Ugh, sorry. <laughs> I had one person, uh, because my microphone, it sounds just like this. And I had one person who was um, sitting there talking. Uh, and they said, man, your voice is really good. Are you recording? I said, no, I'm not streaming right now. And he goes, good, because I don't give you permission to record my voice. I spoke back to him. I said, dude, I don't need your permission. I'm playing a video game. And you agreed to the terms and conditions whenever you first signed up for Fortnite that your voice and audio are basically property of Fortnite. I'm allowed to record Fortnite because I'm a creator and there's nothing that you can pretty much do to stop it. Especially if it doesn't identify the person as uh, their name or person, place, or thing. If it's unidentifiable, it's recordable. And I'm sorry, that's, that's a new rule that's come along because people were recording voices and everything else. Now, that's not to say it doesn't intervene with COPA law. COPA is the, the Child Online Protection Act, and that right there will stop anyone from recording online. Because you, you're not supposed to be able to record or document any one under the age of 13. <laughs> Period. Dot. End of story. That's why YouTube had a huge lawsuit. Anyhow. Man, I am just going off on all kinds of things today. By the way, it is uh, day 11 of No Shave November. Uh, four more days and we're halfway through the month. Is that right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, 15th. 15, 15 is 30, 30 days. Is there 30 or 31? No, there's 30 days in November. <sighs> so, anyhow. I think that's enough doors. I think I need more. I have no clue. I should probably go up there and check. Anyhow. I hope I haven't offended anybody. And if I have, I, uh, I'm not going to apologize. Because this is, this is my content. And this is my channel. And this is what I do. And I will speak to things that a lot of people won't speak to. But I'll do it in a way that stays family friendly. And I hope that you're okay with that. <sighs> a lot of the people that started following me back four years ago, your ages were 7, 8, 9, 10. And since that time, you are now 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. A lot of you are starting to drive, getting into high school. Uh, you're still in middle school. Just 
that it's parts of your life that have changed. And me, myself, and I, I have changed as well. I mean, I'm starting to look much older. I'm, I'm fatter. I know that I've put on weight since a couple of my first videos. Um, I'm starting to get some gray hairs. And it's the, the age of time. It's the passing of time. You know? And with change, I believe the content changed too. Because it's no longer just about tutorials. It's about speaking to life's events. I don't want to say truth. <sighs> because anything that has truth today could be something else tomorrow. It could always change. How do I do that? Seriously. Like, I stacked five doors on top of each other like that. One, two, three, four, five. That or it's just not accurate enough. Who knows? Oh, well. I'm going to have to move my platform up, aren't I? Because that's a bit of a walk. Now, can I do this? Oh, gosh. What did I do? Turn, rotate, turn. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Like that. There we go. There we go. That's easy. Easy enough. <laughs> can I get it from here? Ooh, I can get it from here. Check this out. Dang. Code. Master Builder. Look at that. Now, can I actually get that on there? Hold on. Should it go up there or down one? It should go right there, I think. Now, I should be able to go cross section of it. Okay, so we can close this. Come on, come on. Cl close, close, please. There we go. Now I can do move B. That will do a cross section. Now I need to open this one up. And I'm going to do move B, like that. Good. Now it normally takes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it takes eight minus one that's already up there, so seven. So let's just do this. One. Two. Three. Four. Come on. Five. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five. <clears throat> Six. Look down. Look up. Can I put it on the back side here? Maybe? Oh, that'll work. Six. And one more. Seven, and I don't have to actually place it. I can just move up with it. There we go. Okay, so I can place that right there. That should be good. I want to move this one into place first. So we need to do rotate, turn, rotate, rotate, rotate like that. Get a little cross section. Good. I can pop that down. Open that up. Then we should be able to go rotate, turn, rotate, rotate, rotate. And we'll just speed along here. There's one. There's two. Open that door. There's... Oh, come on. Three. Does that work? It looks a little high, but that's okay. Or, oh, 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 come on. We need to open that door. Am I one short? I think I'm one short. Oh, 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 come down some, dude. Come, come down. There you go. Oh, oh, yes. Nope, 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 nope. I need to go one up there. There you go. 
Oh, I am one short. Dang it. How far along are we? Oh gosh, that is 30 minutes right there on the dot. Uh, let's get this up here and we will reload and test. Just real quick. Be the last one. Last one. So now I should be able to move B. Alright, that should stick them all. For now. Whee! Boom. Okay. Now I don't I don't know if this is going to work because I think I had an open door on that one. Open. Yeah, we left a couple of doors, so we're going to have to reload. So not escape. Menu. Load. Current slot. Reload. Thank you, by the way. I mean, you've seen how many episodes I've been trying to get this particular thing done. Also, huge shout out to Flappert for uh, telling me about the one by three placement of a um, chop saw on a spawn pad. Because I think I already know what it does. I'm just, I'm ready to uh, to try it. Oh gosh, what happened? Oh, no, 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 no. It actually spilt. Oh, I didn't think it was going to spill. Why did you spill? There's no lid. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, go. We're just about done anyway. So, let's go this way. Please don't freeze. Oh, gosh. Once my heaters go off, it's going to get really cold in here. Oh, I'm going to have frozen coffee all over my... My mouse. It's gonna be horrible. Oh, oh, I could I couldn't load on the same slot anyway. Load. Go to slot four. Slot four. Dun 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 dun. My nose is starting to clog. By the way, uh, I'm going to try a new game maybe tonight. Um, I got a free key for it. Stick around for that one. That or it just now posted notifications. There we go. Yep, that's the one that I want. <laughs> By the way, is the 12 o'clock, 12.30, is that still relevant? Is that good times to release? Would you guys want me to release at a different time? Majority vote. If you guys tell me to change the time and I get more than enough people inside the comments telling me to change the times to something else, tell me what time you would want these videos to release. I choose noon just because it's right there where everybody's either getting off of school or you still got like an hour of school left. And that way it's like right there in the time frame of where you're just getting home so you can enjoy a video with snack time or whatnot. So it's up to you. Um, let me know. It's also one of the reasons I changed the live streams is to get more people into the live streams themselves. Oh my gosh, this is like... My mouse pad is soaked. It's not good. Not good at all. Hold on. Auto run. Oh. I'm just spitting on it. <laughs> a little bit better. I'm gonna have to get a fan or something. My mouse bad. No! <sighs> By the way, do not tell Hope that I just made that sound because I've been getting onto her for going to ah! sound. <laughs> oh goodness. Somebody's tagging her right now. At Hope Haskins. Your dad made the squeechy sound. The one that you got in trouble for. <laughs> it will. Mm. It, whose first time is it right now inside the comments? Like, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, or like, what video did you come from? Did you find me by searching, or was it recommended to you? I don't know, because I don't clickbait. So, 
You know, YouTube's not going to recommend me. They only recommend people who clickbait. <laughs> You're so mean, Code. You're so mean. Oh, wait. Why am I climbing up? I need to open the... the... <sighs> okay. There we go. Okay. Open. Boop. And that's it. That's all of them. We have all the doors open. We can auto walk once again. Ugh. So now, basically, I'm walking the same distance that I just climbed. Silly, silly gooses. Gooses! Silly goose! Honk. By the way, that would be a funny game for me to play. Have you seen the, the goose game? I don't, I don't know if you've you've seen it or not. Maybe you have. I know Jacksepticeye and Markiplier both played it. So it's, it's probably pretty popular by now. Which makes it where I, I probably shouldn't play it. Because then it would just look like I'm trying to copy them. What would be funny is if Jacksepticeye or Markiplier came and played Lumber Tycoon 2. And they'd be like, dude, you played Lumber and you didn't invite me? Just kidding. Whew. Down we go. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Oh my goodness. How close are we? Oh my gosh. We are not far at all. Oh. How many more of the cross sections do you think? I would say about two and a half, maybe. Two, two and a half more cross sections. So I'll get to working on those. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Good Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end. If it doesn't seem like a machine, it's not the real thing. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.